In this video, I'm going to go through the total build cost of this tiny house. My total build cost came out just under $22,000. That number includes everything. The trailer, the frame, the appliances, the furnishings, everything. My initial budget was about $16,000. But the more the build dragged on, the less I wanted to cut corners on things and skimp on costs. I had a good source of income, so I just rolled with it. Are there ways I could have built this cheaper? Absolutely. But part of the fun is making it custom to you. So for this video, first I'm going to break down the cost of the main structure, then I'll cover the different sections of the house. Keep in mind, these prices occurred over a five year time period from 2014 to 2019. So prices are likely higher now. The total cost for my trailer was $713. I bought a used RV camper for $400 to use for the main trailer frame. I also added some steel reinforcements that ran $153. I bought some additional sheet metal to cover the bottom for $160. Once the trailer was set, I got to work on the framing. The cost of the lumber for the frame ran me $811. I got gelled one windows for this and they ran a little over $1,100. The doors and their hardware associated with them ran $815. Some of the accessories for that were a little excessive. For example, I got a smart lock for the front door that was $189 by itself. So like I said at the beginning of this video, there's definitely ways you could do it cheaper. The metal roofing materials and the underlayment were $437, and I picked up a skylight from Home Depot for $179. Honestly, that was probably the best investment of the whole build. I love the way it lights up this kitchen. The board and batten siding on the exterior was a pretty high ticket item. That ran $1,448. All of the electrical components and wiring ran $575. That included a home surge protector that was $98, Romex wire, outlets, the electrical box, and the breakers. The plumbing for the house was $506. I used PEX and SharkBite fittings. SharkBite is not the cheapest option, but it sure is easy to put together. I used rock wool insulation for the walls and under the flooring, and that ran $476. The interior walls are quarter inch birch plywood from Home Depot. Altogether, these cost $882. I went with the birch because it didn't have so many pockmarks in the wood that I'd have to fill. The interior ceiling cost $365. The tongue and groove paneling that I used for the ceiling was $256. I also included two inch thick styrofoam board insulation, which ran $108 for the whole house. Altogether, the lighting in my house was $290. Under the cabinets, I have some LED lights that were $28, and then I have interior lights in my ceiling that were $89. I also have four motion detecting exterior lights on the house, and they were $171 in total. The flooring I got from Lowe's, and that was $963, including the glue I used to secure it to the floor. My upstairs cabinet dresser I got for $194, but I had to cut it down so it would actually fit within the space. There are a few high ticket items in my kitchen. The butcher block countertop was $315 from Home Depot. My unpainted kitchen cabinets were $687. The kitchen sink and faucet were $456. The sink itself was $296. That was pretty spendy, but it's a really good size for washing dishes, and I just like the look. The main appliances in this house were $2,648. The stove was $563. And my mini fridge over here was $178. The range hood was from Home Depot and cost $128. My washer and dryer combo in the bathroom was $1,299. I also have a tankless water heater in the bathroom, which was $480. My mini split HVAC unit up here on the wall was $714. We built the compost toilet in the bathroom for $76. The main cost there was a 3D printed urine diverter that I bought off eBay for $60. The shower in this house altogether was $1,180. The upper loft or bedroom in this house was completed for $255. This included a five inch thick mattress that was $132 off Amazon, a mattress protector, sheets, the comforter and the pillow, all of it. My movie area cost me $225. The projector itself was just under $80, and the projector screen that duels as a dry erase board I bought off Amazon for $145. One of the most expensive components in the tiny house was the epoxy table, which was $1,108.
I needed a standing desk for work and I had seen those things on Pinterest and I just had to make one. If I wanted to cut down on my budget, that would have been one of the areas where I could do it. The reality is I could have just done a live edge table that I sanded down because the black walnut slab for that was $80 by itself. I have a full breakdown of all the components I used for this build and their costs linked in the description below. So all in all, my total build cost came out to be $21,858.60. Now I also spent $359 on some tools for this build that I didn't already have. However, those tools are not included into my total house build number. If you're building your own tiny house, I hope you found this video helpful in estimating the costs for your own build. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. We have more videos about the tiny house and about the homestead that we're building.